Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, we have learned how we can create our show component. In this video, we are going to learn how we can delete our product and also how we can delete the image. So let's go to our base code. Now let's go to our main component by going to resources JS page and products index.js. In here, as you guys can see, I already have a button with a on click of handle delete. So let's create our handle delete method. So let's scroll up and before the return in here, we will create a new calls with the name of handle delete and we will create a arrow function with a product ID as a parameter. Then inside this, I will create a F condition to get the confirmation from the user that does he want to delete the product. So in here, I, I will type confirm and I will type, are you sure? you want to delete this product then after that i will call destroy method and i will pass my url with a product id as a parameter now let's uh, import our destroy method also from the use form so let's scroll up and in here and after the gate i will call new method uh, with the name of delete and with the key of destroy so our index component is finished now let's go and create our route in web.php so let's go to our routes web.php and in here let's create a new route with the type of delete and we will pass delete as a url slash the id of the product then we will call delete method from the products controller now let's go and create our delete method inside our products controller so let's go inside our products controller and in here let's scroll down at the end after the show let's create a new method with the name of delete and pass the id as a parameter then we will create a new variable and set it to our products controller and fetch our product using the id then after that we will check if this product has an image then we will have to delete it from our storage public folder as well then after that we will delete our product and at the end we will re redirect the user back to our products with a success message that product has been deleted so everything is done now let's go to our browser and check our delete method so let's go and delete this so i'm going to cl click delete are you sure you want to delete this product? Okay. As you guys can see, the product has been deleted. If I delete this one, it will also delete that product or this one. So this is it for this video and see you guys in the next video.